All right, fellas, so we are back. And I'm just going to start, uh, you know, where we left off in the second last video. Half dead person, that was the title. So yeah, I'm going to talk about some lessons here. Which I didn't talk in last, uh, second last video. Anyway, so I think I was talking about that if you would feel proud and not not. I'm going to try to explain this if I can, alright, if I'm not able to cook. Though this is not a lesson, so I don't need to actually talk about this. We don't need to talk about this, because this is not a lesson. So what, we sh what should we talk about then, if this is not a lesson? This is a good lesson. This is a very good lesson. In the last, in the, you know, previous video which I was talking about this thing, I said that if I looked at this situation which I'm going through, from the perspective who I was last year, I probably would not have chosen to be in this type of experience where you go through a certain type of pain, right? Because it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's deep, so, yeah. Affects on quite a lot deeper levels, right? But anyway, so I probably would not have chosen this now. I thought of this. That, yeah, but that perspective is from the perspective who I was last year, right? Now, the lesson here is that what would I do if, what would I do if I could see a certain type of situation in the future from now, today's perspective, that in the future, I would be in pain. Something happens and I would be in huge amounts of pain now would I choose that pain from this perspective like today's perspective probably yes because not listen not to I know people may get wrong get uh, get me wrong but I like how you however you say it but like, what I mean is that you go through certain stages of your life. A lot of times, you you go through certain stages of life, and a lot of times, there are certain situations where you go through a, a lot of pain, and you don't want to be in those situations. Then you want to get out of these situations as soon as possible. Which is perfectly fine, and you shouldn't obviously make them harder. But the interesting thing here is that you know, I'm not in a hurry, but the interesting thing to understand from what I've experienced is that before last year, like let's say today, last year, let's today is third of May, right? 3rd of May, last year, means 2023, 3rd of May, from that perspective, if I look at this situation that I would be in this duration of pain for that long, I would not probably, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say probably, I wouldn't have chosen this. Because it's just, I mean, the reason, the thing is, I have been in this now for a long time. And I am able to understand the pain. And I have learned things from it. But then I have been in it. Right? And that's why I know I can survive. But if I could feel the pain on that day, like, you know, 2023, 3rd of May, right? I would not want this, right? No one would want this. 
But then again, if your life is shown to you like this is this is what would happen, and a lot of times it's gonna be full of pain, you're gonna be like, no, I don't want that. No one wants pain, right? And that's natural. Like, of course, you shouldn't want pain, but I mean, of course, like, like they, of course, pain makes you stronger. Yeah, but there are different types of types of pain. Depends on what type of pain we're talking about. But anyway, so the lesson here to understand. I know I'm, I'm talking a bit slow. The lesson here to understand is that if if I look at the situation where I'm right now, if I let's say I'm in the situation. Let's say I'm in a situation like this, which I'm going through already. Let's say I'm in this situation one year later. Right? Let's just say that, to just to give an example. Let's say I would, but the, but the pain is a lot harder. Let's say, right? It's already, but let's say the pain is or uh, a lot more harder than it already is. Looking from this situation right now, today. I probably would, if I had a choice, of course, you don't have a choice, but I'm just saying it just to, you know, so it would make sense. I would probably choose that. Now, the reason is not that you want pain. Is that there are things which you do in your life and you can, like, they can cause pain. That's just life. Right? That's just life. And if you say that, oh, I shouldn't have pain, oh, I shouldn't have this, I shouldn't have that, then you can't experience life. Right? You can't experience life. And I'm not saying that you intentionally put yourself in a situation where you're hurting yourself. That's not what I mean. But some situations where you can be in, where there can be pain, right? That's just life happens, right? So let's say if something like this happens again, like let's say one year later, two years later, and it's a lot more harder, what I do then now is the thing is if it's exactly how it is, this thing because it's a little it's a little different because it's connected with everything. But still I think I would choose that. This, it, does this count as a lesson? And let me just summarize what I mean when I say the lesson. The lesson is here is that when you go through a certain type of pain, you realize, you realize you can go through things a lot harder than you already are going through. That's what I mean. Not to say that you put yourself in those, yourself in those situations. That's not what I'm saying. But you just would understand, like it depends on what you're going through, right? Obviously. And from what you're going through, then what you can look into the future and then you can say, yeah, that thing I can survive, that thing I can survive, stuff like that. So if something like this happened again, which it can, it's just life, right? It's just life. I would, um, of course, it's not like you want that, but like, it can happen, it's just like, so if something like this happens again, and I knew that it would happen, not to say that you choose it, but like it would happen, I probably would be like, I understand. So how do I summarize this though? That if you go through, a, go through pain, you will realize that in the future, you can, when you are in, tougher situations than you are already in right now, you will be able to handle yourself because you're already going to a certain period of pain and it does make you stronger. So that's one thing to say. So yeah, if I could... Of course, like, listen, I understand as I was last year, that's not who I am right now. I've changed a lot. A lot. And you, you this is the thing. If you are that person 
that you went through a time the way there was pain obviously it happens in different people live different lives they can be different kind of pains pain and of course it's not like you want to want pain that's not what i'm saying like i would not have chosen this last year right but me being able to go through this by myself it's scary but by myself which i don't recommend but i'm just saying that so people don't think that you have to do that yeah. you you can everyone's different right if you if you want if you if you feel like you need people's help no problem anyway. because just saying that so people don't think that i'm saying that oh yeah people listen i'm not saying that if something happens to you where you're in pain i'm not saying that don't you know just go through things about yourself and listen i'm a different type of person not everyone is like me and you sometimes would need people in your life to help you get out of a state and this is life it happens right all right anyway so would i do something like this again It's not about doing something like this. You know? This is the life. That's things. Life. And these things happen. It's not about that you intentionally do. It's just life. Things happen, right? Yeah. So of course, happen happens, and it can. Like it's just life. Anyway, let's talk about something else. Another lesson. Should I talk about this? It's not that it's not a lesson. Interesting thing is, if this kind of thing relates to what I just already said, is that me being in this situation makes me realize that yeah. Going through it, it's hard and stuff like that. You know, let me give give you a a way it affects. Which I imagine going through something and getting surprised by that thing again and again and again and again. Imagine that, and even today that happened. I'm not going to say exactly what, but imagine, I want you to imagine this, you're looking at a person, it's not exactly that thing, but just to, you're looking at a person, you're talking to some, someone, but you don't want to talk to that person, not like you don't want, like you feel something, that makes you feel drained and you don't feel like you want to talk like because like you're feeling something which is pain and you're looking at this person that is in front of you and that person is talking to you but you're feeling this pain and like and you tr you're paying attention on that person but you it's not that you can't pay attention but like, it's just, it hurts. Not, I mean, not paying attention, but like, technically that does hurt as well because, because you're already in the pain. Like how this pain is, just to explain this a bit, it's connected with everything. Like, it's like a web. Like, if if I'm feeling, even if it's a little bit, anything which, I don't have to say that. But still, I don't have to explain that, but 
But anyway, let's just not talk about it. Certain things I don't want to talk about. But anyway, lessons. We are talking about lessons here. So let's talk about lessons. What are the lessons? I've learned a lot of things. But certain things I can't talk about at the moment. I mean, I will do that in the, on the channel later, but not now. So what other things I have learned? I'm just thinking about things I should talk about. Should I pause the video? Probably. Right, so I thought of lots of things which I could talk about, but the thing is, it's just a bit of talk here. But the thing is, a lot of things I can't talk about, and most of those are the most of the things which I learned with them, but I can't talk about them yet. But I was thinking of this one thing, and it's that, but then again, it's just too complicated. Can't even talk about lessons. Isn't that funny? What should we talk about if we can't talk about lessons? Then? What do we talk about? They, this was supposed to be lessons and I don't even want It's not that I don't want to talk about them, it's just that those are not the type of lessons which I want to talk about them. But those are not the type of lessons which I want to How do you think? Those are not the type of lessons which I want to talk about yet. Is that how you say it? What is happening to my English? What should we talk about? See, it's, it's, but then again, listen, I understand, I understand that I don't prepare for these type of videos or anything like that, just sit and just talk. But then the thing is, I have things which I can talk about, but I can't yet. That's the thing. And they are like, good amount, but I can't yet, that's the thing. So what should we talk about if we can't even talk about lessons? Now I'm not going to explain the pain because what is that going to be? But what did it help people? I'm not going to say that. But because this is the thing, a lot of things about the pain, like it's just connected with everything. Imagine you go through something, and that thing, whatever happens, there's pain in your life, and you know what's interesting? That pain. Should I? This is the thing. I. You can't say it. But that pain would be related to technically everything. not everything, but like now, what does this mean, or what? How do I see this? There can be situations in your life where you're going through something. It could be pain, it could be joy, it could be many things. And you're in that thing, let's say you're going through pain. How this would relate, relate to that is that it just gets a little more harder. Every single day you realize it's more, the pain is more harder. It affects on deeper levels. Whatever, no, it depends on the time frame, but it 
Hmm, affects on deeper level, right? What the hell is this? I understand it. This is fun. You want it? Funny, this is funny. Wouldn't make sense, but... I've never been a person, no, I wouldn't say never, but like, I wasn't that person who felt like, you know, I didn't have that mentality that much, you know, which have people have that negative mentality, they can't, you know, they can, like, that they feel like some things are above them, right? Oh, I can't get that. Decent stuff like that. Like, for me, it's like, I may not be there yet, but like, I know I can get there. And of course, like, I understand, like, I did certain things that actually made me uh, have that belief. Before that, it wasn't like that. So, I was just thinking of this thing, is that, I never actually have been that person that much who thought that, you know, that I can't get things in life. You know, people think that, oh, I can't get to that point in, in my life. Oh, I can't do this, I can't do that. Now, there were certain things which I did like four years ago, certain things like that, and that kind of made me believe I can do things. Even though I may not be there, I can't believe that I will be there, like I just know it. But I was just thinking about this that, you know, you hear by people, you know, that, oh, you can get this, you, like you, you can't, you can't have everything, right, in life. Which to an extent is true, to an extent is true. But the way I look at it is that I have to have high expectations. High expectations from what? From myself. Not from people, obviously, that's stupid. When I say high expectations, right? What I make what I mean is that the things which I want in life, I have to I have to be very dedicated towards going after me, right? I have to be very, I have to have a way where I can be, how do you explain this? How would I explain this? Yeah, at least we are talking about something. But, like, I don't, I want a, I don't want to live an average life, right? And, how do you not really live an average life? You, you yourself have to not be average for you to live an, to not live an average life. Now, how can you not be average? In this scenario, I know when anyone who's listening to this, if you think that I'm talking about average, what I mean is that people, I'm not talking about people. Average people, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about average me. Average who I am. I can't be that. I need to be better than that. So I have high i have to have high expectation from myself that i want things certain things and i have to have like if i have high expectations from myself i will have to do certain things right because if i don't have high expectations from myself i am gonna be lazy which i am right 
and I need high expectation because the thing is you don't want a normal life right <laughs> well you're not living a normal life right now as well but yeah whatever you want to say but it's not even about normal because the thing is I don't compare when I say average or when I say normal I don't necessarily mean to compare to other people that's not what I mean because but that's how I'm sounding like yeah but like like I want to be that with certain things I want to be the best at right? the best and it's a long life it's a long journey I had and I was just thinking about this thing that I need to have high expectation for myself and of course listen when I say high expectation I understand that sometimes things happen and you may not be able to get what you want like just to give an example let's say you're trying something but then that's the thing there are exceptions let's say you're trying a business it doesn't work well if you try the right business if you do it correctly all, all that blah blah stuff right what was your plan was your plan okay was it good was it bad did you actually uh, was that business actually in demand or whatever all of that stuff right I'm not gonna go into detail but like you get an idea so why were we talking about this so that business right If that business fails, of course it depends on you know if 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 that was even worth it. Like if you are doing something, and of course you can succeed in things, whatever you want to say. But like it depends on the business itself and who you are yourself. So it depends on a lot of things. So like obviously there are exceptions. But but like I understand that. I understand. That. But when I say high expectations, what I mean is that. I can't be less than who I could be, if that makes sense. Like, there is a certain image that I have, a certain version that I have in my mind that I can be, and that's what I want to be. And if I'm not that person, I am not doing my best that makes it like but then again it depends on how we look at the situation of course i understand you know it takes a bit of time for you to get to a place stuff like that but from experiencing what i've experienced doing and stuff like that i realized that a lot of things which you think are not possible are actually possible So a lot of things which I previously thought that, which not that I may not be able to do, but I was like, maybe it would take about like certain things which I would be able to, let's say, accomplish. And it would take a good amount of time. <laughs> and the funny thing is actually it won't take that much time. So that's what I mean. Now, obviously, like I'm talking about different things, but like a lot of things actually won't take much time. Depends on what you're talking about, but so this is what I mean when I say high expectations. But then again, it's not about being delusional and just, you know, when I when you when I say high expectation, just to give an example, let's say you go to the gym every single day, you do intense exercises or whatever, not even intense, but like you get you do exercises, lift, all of that stuff. But you don't eat right 
Are you gonna grow muscle? No. The reason I'm giving this example is that of course we have to put this into perspective that yeah high expectations but at the same time just like I gave the example if, let's say if I'm going to gym which I don't go to but let's say I'm going to gym and I'm exercising very intensely right and I'm not eating anymore am I gonna get muscle muscle like proper muscle no so my expectation is high which is understandable but then what I'm doing is stupid not stupid but like it's technique what I'm doing is not how I should be doing like I should be eating if I want to grow muscle so that is my own problem right so when I say expectations I have to look at things like yeah if I'm am I doing something wrong like you you I hope you never And of course, a lot of, of course, a lot of times, may, you may think you're doing something right. You may later realize you're not. Of course, that's just life. Yeah, but yeah. At least we talked about something, right? We talked about something better than nothing. The thing is, things like this, which I'm going to then. It's not normal type of thing, that's the thing, because the thing is, if it was just the pain by itself, it would be different. It's, you know what it is. Imagine, not even, don't even imagine, I'm just going to explain this a bit. The pain is one thing, but then it's not just the pain. Like, it's just, it's related to, like, it's like a web. And it's related to lots of things. And like there are effects of the pain. Like if there was the pain by itself, if it was just the pain and nothing else, then it would be a bit different. But it's not just the pain. Because it, it, it affects like the it's like the pain goes into everything which you do. Which you think. So like that's what that's what I why I say it facts on deeper levels. Which is understandable, like I understand the situation because yeah, I, I don't have to talk about that, but I understand the situation. So yeah, obviously like it's this life things like this can happen. Yeah. And Because the thing is, if you, in normal pain, you just feel the pain. This thing dies into everything which you think, everything which you do. If that makes sense, I won't be making sense, but I don't want to make sense because I don't want to explain things because I have reasons for that. But, and so, yeah, of course, this stuff like that, it, it affects deeper because it has deeper effects anyway. So, yeah, high ex expectations, I need to, yeah. But then again, like, it's not about being stupid. What do I mean when I say stupid? Is that you know something, like I gave the example, you know you should be, you should be eating if you're going to gym if you want to build muscle you should be eating a good amount of food protein all of that stuff but if you're not and you know you're not and you still expect that that's stupidity right that's what i mean and you can't do that obviously let's just be like yeah but yeah that's that for this video sometime later in the future we'll watch it